that's one of the buildings where I have quite a few of my glasses this term. I actually just can't believe I'm here. Like, I'm walking out into the streets of Oxford. Here's Scripton, which is the most amazing stationery shop. Oh, there's a market today. I just can't believe I'm here. So this library here, which is under construction, that's one of the buildings where I have quite a few of my classes this term. I get to study in there. I got the very berry croissant from Brat, which is vegan. I just got back from the most beautiful hour long walk and I went to Pratt and got a coffee and a pastry. I went outside bread for a bit. I'm now going to get ready to go to the library. I was keeping a list over the summer of books that I wanted to take out when I got here. So I'm just gonna write down the books that I want to take out from the college library and then I'll go down there and take them out, maybe do some reading while I'm there. Um, and the other thing, something else I really wanted to do. Oh yes, um, so in the room, if you've got any electronics you just have to make a note of them and send it over so i'm going to also fill out that form and send that to i'll probably do that before i leave because i should get that done i was walking around and as i was walking i kind of realized i think this might be one of the best days of my life <laughs> changed again because I'm gonna go out and get my academic dress now and I want to wear the white shirt and black skirt so that I can try everything on together. I've just changed into this jumper and I've added this robin pin. So here is the library. I also very nearly took out this book on manuscript studies. It looks so interesting. I went to Pratt to get another coffee. Really quite bad, I know. I got a pumpkin spice latte and I was reading some of that book that I just got out of the library. I especially loved this quote from John Donne. And the coffee shop ambience was just so lovely. I didn't really have to focus that much. Like this wasn't very intense work, I just read two or three chapters and then I headed to Walters to pick up my academic gown and this is me wearing it. I also popped into this gift shop and got a few things. I've come back to my room, I went and checked out the Jesus College Library um, which has some really nice spots and I took out two books and then I went to press and I got another copy on my subscription and read a chapter of one of them. Um, so I went and bought my academic 
gown um, and I thought I'd try it on. Just in this bag, which my friend Alex got me really, really kindly. So this is it and it's the gown that you wear for formal dinners in college as well. And then you also have, this is like the official ribbon. Also, I bought two little gifts. I got these two postcards, one to send to my parents and one to put up in my room because I just love this print so much. And I collect postcards, so I'll probably write a little message on the back of my one, um, just saying that it's my first day at Oxford and things. I got this cute little Jesus College pin. This was only, I think it was three pounds. I'll put that on my coat label, I think. And then finally, to get in everywhere, you need this fob. And I am gonna lose it, so I bought this lanyard because I have a lanyard at home, but I forgot it. And I just know what I'm like with something like this. Like, this will go missing. So then I headed to the Radcliffe camera for the first time. I have been so excited about this for, well, like since I got accepted. I've been so excited to go and study here. I'm sorry for how blurry this clip was. I didn't realize that it was blurry when I filmed it, obviously, but I was just taking some notes and writing up some thoughts on the essays I'd read earlier. And can we just appreciate the beautiful ceiling here? The architecture in this building is just exquisite. The ceiling, as you can probably tell in this clip, is a kind of Baroque style. It was actually built in the mid 18th century. It's actually the third largest dome in Britain, which is quite cool. And then there was a book I needed to go find. Um, it was in the Gladstone link, which I'd heard horror stories about. And indeed it was, this is quite creepy. But they had these wonderful, turning bookshelves. They had these in extra two and I do enjoy the novelty of them. I was looking for one particular book but of course I got distracted and found a few others I wanted to try. And I didn't actually realise this, I should probably have known, but you can't take books out of the rack of camera, you can only use them on site. So I took the book upstairs, I didn't want to stay in the Gladstone link, to this wonderful study spot and just read that collection of essays. Then this was a very late lunch. I think it was like three or four o'clock. I never usually eat this late, but I got kind of carried away with reading and sort of lost track of time and only realized how hungry I was when I finished the book. After getting some sushi, I went to the Westgate shopping center and picked up some conditioner. I also got an all gray tea.
I made myself a vegan cheese toasty and some soup for dinner um, and I also washed up all of the utensils and cooking wear that I bought with me because I always worry about it getting dirty when traveling with it but that brings us to the end of this vlog uh, and my first day in Oxford I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that you have more than just a productive week Thank you.